So this is the first example we have seen since uh, we started our lessons of a noun that ends in A and uh, nevertheless it's a masculine word, okay? But remember, dia is masculine. Muchos dias. And last, muchas cosas. Many things. Here, cosa is a feminine word ending in A, right? So, you say muchas with an A, right? Muchas cosas. So, this is the end of our 30-second lesson. So, try to remember the difference between uh, countables and uncountables, right? Mucho or muchas, sorry, mucho, mucha, and muchos, muchas for plenty of or many, right? So this is a, this is very much the same as in English, so the, that won't be so difficult. But if you remember, if, if you learn this, that will give you another tool for, for speaking and for uh, structuring your sentences. So I see you next time in the next lesson. Goodbye.